I just want to play 18 holes with Coach one time. Just one would time. Would love it, yes, That would be so much fun. Thanks again for Blair for joining the show. We're going to go now from the hardwood to the diamond for this next segment. a and graduate Heath Clary recently wrote a book. It's right here. It's called All It Takes Is Everything You've Got, A Season Inside One of College Baseball's Best Programs. I think it gives away behind us who we're talking about. Yeah, now as you can imagine, we're talking about the Aggie baseball program, which Clary spent all of the 2019 season with. He even got to sit in the dugouts during games to get an inside look. It's a cool opportunity, and let's listen to Heath on what he learned during this unique experience. What made you last year decide to go inside the Aggie baseball program? Yeah, so I had been covering the Aggies uh, for three or four years as a student. Uh, I started day one of my freshman year working for the battalion um, and then moved over to texags.com and I uh, just figured for my senior year I wanted to do something different, uh, something that was going to be very challenging for myself um, and just to see if I read a lot of books growing up I wanted to see if I could do it and covering Aggie baseball I thought was the perfect avenue to do it and uh, really happy with how it turned out and very grateful that Rob Childress and the staff and players let me do it. Something we didn't ask the first time around, but I want to ask this time. How much different was it covering A&M baseball for the battalion and Tex Ags as opposed to writing the book? Like, what was the biggest difference in how you approach the day-to-day -day coverage of the team? Uh, well, not, probably not, uh, just not, not as much day-to-day -day because as a writer, I had been writing pretty much a feature each week. Um, and going to most of the game, most of the home games, writing recaps. Uh, but it was just more in, uh, more access, obviously. So that was the big difference. Was instead of just getting to interview these guys after the game or one day during the week, I could interview them whenever I wanted to. Uh, I could go to Coach Childers or Coach Seeley or Coach Bolt's office whenever I wanted to uh, to just ask them about something that I thought was going to be interesting for the book. Uh, luckily, they allowed me to an uh, ask a lot of questions. And, um, and, and it turned out like it did. So the biggest difference was just more access, uh, which led to better coverage in my opinion. Take us inside the dugout during a uh, nine inning ball game. Cause obviously we're up in the stands just shooting highlights. So that's about what we're focused on, but we know a lot goes in on the dugout uh, between signs and talking. Just take us, take us through a nine inning chatter in the dugout. What's going on in there? So there is a lot of chatter among the players on the bench. Uh, a lot, some trash talk, uh, you know, certain teams uh, we didn't get along with as much. Uh, so never, nothing really got by the players either. If, if an opposing player kind of strutted off the mound or flipped his bat or something like that, uh, the Aggies were always ready to, you know, make fun of him or talk back to him whenever something bad happened to that individual player. So that was always fun. And then uh, just didn't, I was able to stand right behind Rob Childress, one of the best pitching coaches in the country, and listen to him call pitches for nine innings. Uh, so it was a tremendous learning experience for me. Uh, and it was also just a treat and an honor to be in the dugout with the players uh, and just hearing everything they talk about, some of the jokes they say. And, uh, you know, I tried to put as much of that in the book as I could. I think one of the interesting parts of your book is the personality you get to experience and learn about from these players that you got a chance to see up close and personal. We had uh, Mikey Honer and Bryce Blom on last week, and I asked each of them, who's the funniest guy on the team? And I want to see what you say, who do you think is the funniest guy on the team from your experiences around Aggie baseball, and I'll, I'll let you know what those two said. Uh, the funniest guy on the team, I would have to go with – uh, probably Hunter Watson, I thought was the funniest. Uh, or Aaron Walters. Aaron Walters isn't there anymore, but he was also very funny. That's not what they said. They said, uh, they said Mikey. Bryce said Mikey, and then Mikey just laughed when I told him that's what Bryce said. and He wouldn't give me a better answer. This season obviously got cut short for the Aggies, an unfortunate turn of events. So you were inside the team on their last full season. When you look back, what's the biggest thing you'll take away from that experience in hindsight now that you've completed it and we don't have baseball at the time being? Right. Uh, the biggest takeaway was just how many good players uh, were on that 2019 team. Uh, obviously, Braden Schumacher was a first-round pick. John Doc Sackett was a, sec a second-round pick. Both of those guys had story three year careers, two of the best players to come through A&M. And then also you had Asa Lacey, who I think is going to get six in the top five in this upcoming draft. And then Zach Deloach, who saw how good he was this year. Uh, he might get picked in the top three or four rounds in the upcoming draft. So just so much talent that was on that one team, and it was 
you know, awesome that I was able to break it down uh, in a book format. The question is, how in the heck did that team not make it to Omaha? Yeah, no, it was, uh, that's a good question. I, I thought they were going to. It was a disappointing finish, obviously. They had the pieces to make it. Uh, you know, they didn't get as much uh, production from the offense as they hoped. Elite pitching staff. Uh, but I think there's going to be some trips to Omaha in the future for Aggie baseball. All right, man. Well, that is all the time we have, but you rocked it as always. We appreciate it. And uh, where can they get the book real quick? You got 10 seconds. Sure, you can go to Amazon, but what I would recommend is going to HeathClary.com. You can learn more about me and my project and pick up your copy there. So HeathClary.com. And there's a link to that on KAGSTV.com as well. Heath, thanks as always, our friend.